Okay, using the deburring tool to clean up the inside of the edge and to put a cutting edge onto the inside of your core tube. Run the deburring tool around to create an edge. Make it sharp as you want. As thin as you want. Okay, that's how to put an edge on the core tube. So installing a three inch core keeper using duct tape you may have to trim a slight bit off the edge if it doesn't fit exactly where you want it exactly how you want it so the core keeper gets turned in and then your core tube, you're going to push it into the core tube to the depth that you want it. Work to get it even. Around the inside of the core tube. And then we're going to take some tape, some duct tape, and we're going to put some initial pieces of tape to help us put a solid band of tape around the inside of the core tube sealing the core keeper to the core tube. So I've got a couple of pieces there. I'm going to put on at least one more. So there I've got three pieces Fold it how I would like to have it inside the core tube. Now I'm going to take a longer piece of tape and I'm going to now Attach this to the inside all the way around the inside of the core tube. And press that in around the core tube so we get a good seal. Got a little bit left. Take another small bit of tape to make sure I've got the entire core keeper. 
sealed to the core tube. Press it down. So, what it should look like is this. From the bottom, looking from the bottom of the core tube down the tube. For a longer core tube, you won't be able to see what it uh, looks like, but it should look like this on the inside, which will allow it to expand and open and your sediment sample be retained within the core tube.